Hi and welcome to the 85th Hammer Tutorial. Today we're going to go over um, parent attachment points and making panels for Portal 2. That's how they're made with the attachment points. So we're going to focus on making the panels for Portal 2. So right here I have my Portal 2 level and I want to put panels that open up right here when the button is depressed. So first thing you want to do is create a prop dynamic and for world model you want to search for arm and then the arm we're looking for is 64 here's the one I'm using the rusty arm so okay okay and now it'll drop that arm there now for panels there are a lot of animations so you're going to want to open up the model viewer for Portal 2. Um, let me just get that open really quick. And here's Model Viewer. So you want to go to Load Model through Steam, Annie WP, Room Transform, and Arm 64x64 64 Interior Rusty MDL. So there's your path. Alright, then here we have the model here. And you want to go to Sequences and find an animation that works for what you want. There are hundreds of them here. So this is the hardest part of finding one. I kind of already know what I want on mine. I want mine to just corner like that. So that's going to be the animation for mine. The six, 90 degree underscore 64 in corner front. I'm just going to drag this over to my other monitor. I'm sorry, the animation I want is a 90 degree corner front idle, not 64. So the, the 64 one is extended 64 inch to the right that's not what I want alright so this this animation that you have here you want to write that down into your props default animation so 90 deg corner front idle and if you typed it in properly you will now have a new pose for your prop here so now what you want to do is rotate your prop so it's in the correct form so rotate rotate and then put it into place the best you can and now we need to create the panel for it um, panels are funk brushes they're 64 by 64 units of squ uh, square units so just grab a brush Go ahead and create your panel in front. Typically your panel will come all the way to the front like that and they're usually two or four units thick. Then you apply the texture to it to make it look like it fits. All that fun jazz. And now make it a funk brush and name it and now you also want to name your model and you want to set the parent to the model. Okay. Now you want to create a logic auto and hit add on map spawn panel one brush set parent attachment maintain offset. Now what we're doing here is we're setting the attachment point for the model and to see model attachment points you go to attachments here and you'll see we have panel attach. You'll see there's this little line that is drawn on the front here. And when the model animates, you'll see that that is going with it. So corner front. See how that's going with it? That's what we're attaching the funk brush to. And what maintain offset does is it maintains the offset from the time that it was given this command. If you hit just um, set parent attachment, it will teleport to this point and it will rotate itself. So we don't want that. So maintain offset and then with the parameter override, 
you want to put that panel attach attachment point. Panel attach, hit apply. And now creating the rest of these panels is pretty easy. You can just paste special it and then just oops. Paste special it and just move them down. Then just copy them both. Now we put those there. There we go. And now we want to create a logic relay. We're going to name this panel brush relay open. And we want to find our open animation. I'm using the corner in front. Actually, I'm using corner out front. There we go. That's what I'm using. Okay, so we give it our animation name that we want. So add on trigger, set this, set animation, then we give it the animation that we want, and now we copy and paste this, set it to panel 2, set it to panel 3, set it to panel 4. And to give it that portally feel, you just delay them fractions of a second to make them open in separate order. And for the close animation, we do the exact same thing. We just create another relay. And we change the corner in to corner out. Again, that always depends on your animation. Very important to make sure you know your animation. And then for the button, we have add on pressed. We trigger the open relay. And on unpressed, we have the close relay. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this map. And then I'll, I'll see you in Portal, not Counter-Strike. Okay, so here we are in Portal. I'm over at the area. We've already got a cube on the button. And the panels are open. And now they're closed. We drop the cube there. We can see the shadow from the projected texture that I have about right there. And they open and close just like with domes and logic relays. So, I hope this tutorial has helped you to create panels for Portal 2 or using parent attachment points for any other model in any other game. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.